Hey guys, welcome back to the ePass group. Today, we're diving deep into how you can leverage large language models to supercharge your study sessions. Imagine automatically creating flashcards and notes that'll help you dominate any subject. Let's dive right in. In this tutorial, we'll be using the free tier of Claude AI, but the prompts will work equally well on ChatGPT. Claude AI can handle more text, but ChatGPT is faster. If you're new to language models like this, don't stress. Interacting with it is as intuitive as having a conversation with a friend. Just provide clear instructions and watch the magic happen. For this demo, I set a task for our language model, Claude. Read a chapter from a textbook and extract the main ideas. The goal? Organize the content in a structured way, and I personally love bullet points. I'll be using content from a biology textbook, however, feel free to use any source of text you want. If you're wondering how to input the content, it's easy. Simply copy and paste. Whether it's slides, chapters, or notes, just throw it in. When you do, you'll notice a paste.txt file. You can also upload documents, but remember there's a 10 megabyte limit. I'll initiate the content generation. This might take a few moments, so let's fast forward. Now let's transform these newly created notes into flashcards. I've prepared a special prompt tailored for a tool called RemNote. This will structure our notes so that RemNote can convert them into flashcards. All prompts, as well as links to all tools, will be down in the description below. As you can see, our language model has now transformed those concepts into flashcards. The next step? Simply copy and paste this content into RemNote. The output might look a tad messy. No worries. A quick tip. Always use Markdown format in RemNote to get cleaner results. Let's give it another try. And there you have it. A streamlined way to turn your textbook content into study-ready flashcards. If you found this tutorial useful, drop a comment below. All the prompts I used will be in the description. Happy studying and see you in the next video.